Hello and welcome to another OpenGL FDL and C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we take a look at the smooth normals. Before we go on to coding, I would like to show you the program now started and as you can see it is very blocky, the specular light mostly uh, it can be seen that this is very very blocky and you could solve this situation by uh, subdivide this monkey head four or five more time and it will be very smooth although that would uh, use much more memory CPU GPU basically from everything it would be used much more and uh, you know that is just unacceptable in case of games so you want that this monkey head or anything other object be very smooth although uh, without uh, subdividing and that's exactly what we are going to uh, do today. Before we go on to coding, I want to show you a few uh, drawings which may help you to understand the problem and the solution. Alright, as you may know, OpenGL do the lighting calculation per vertex. It means that it do uh, the lighting calculation every single vertex. So, in this case, uh, for example, in this purple uh, face, the normal vectors, as you can see, perpendicular to the surface. Uh, I think I haven't tell you, told you that uh, the normals in the uh, OpenGL is actually uh, per vertex base. So it means that every single vertex has a normal vector, although we just declare the normal vector once. So we give the same normal vector for every single uh, vertex. It is similar the uh, the color. Then you just give one color to, and uh, then all of the vertex which follow that color call uh, will be that color. Similar things here. You give one normal vector, and if there is four vertex after it, then all four vertex has the same normal vector, which is actually the true normal vector. The problem is here, as you can see, this purple face color calculation will give some color, some light, how much light does it uh, reflect and so on. So it will be one color. And then it do the same calculation to this other vertex, which is basically in the same place, this uh, green vertex, which is basically the same place. It will give a completely other uh, light intensity because the normal vector is facing uh, to another direction basically uh, all the two face will be different color and because of that you can see a very sharp edge between the two different color although you may want that there should be no uh, very sharp edge you want it to be smooth very smooth to do that, basically we just uh, create a new normal vector, which is not the true normal vector, we just uh, create it. And uh, this uh, new normal vector will be the average of this two vector. So for example, like mm, this. Oh, sorry. So like this. Okay, and in case of this, then it do the lighting calculation for this uh, uh, this vertex which has the same uh, normal than this uh, other vertex so the purple vertex has the same normal vectors as the green vertex and because of that uh, there will be very uh, very smooth because the light will be the same in these two position and uh, you cannot see the sharp edge so you can th uh, you can think about it as a smooth surface i hope it makes sense and actually this is just a 2d representation of some 3d faces like roundish faces okay and i have another drawing here we go so in uh, this drawing is actually want to represent four faces and um, some and uh, nine vertexes 
and uh, I want to show you how we uh, will calculate it. So, for example, we start in this third, first phase and we go through, uh, so first vertex, and we go through all of the faces and try to search a face which one of the vertex of the face, face which made up is contain this face. So for example, we in this case we go the first vertex, first vertex, and then we uh, check all of the vertexes. So for example, if this, 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 or this is equal the vertex we are examining, then we add it to an average and add the number that we already used this vector uh, uh, face. So basically you probably know how to calculate average. You add all of the elements and divide it by the number of the elements. So in this case we have just one, uh, uh, one face and uh, the average of this vector will be the vector of the face. Okay, the second uh, will be this vertex and then we go through again all of the faces and try to find a face which has uh, the this uh, face which uh, contains. So we go through the first and we check that if, if this, this, this or this is uh, contain this face and so then we have a solution so this will be one and then we go through the, this face and again check that if one of the vertexes is the same as we examining. We find so it uh, so we find it and we add it to a number which will be the sum of all of the faces and we have two faces so divide it and we will find it. Okay for example this center face will be find this face, this face, this face and this face. This is add to a uh, sum and then the, the end of it, it will be divided by four because four faces is connected to this one vertex. Okay, and a little reminder those of uh, you who don't remember how to calculate things. You calculate the average by add all of the components and then divide it by the number of the components and you add two vector by add the corresponding component for example ax uh, plus bx and ay uh, plus by and az plus bz and you divide it so you divide a vector by divide the core uh, all of the components by a number if you divide by a number okay and i think we can start the coding because we will run out the time if we don't actually i did a little modification to this material file i increased this ns variable so the specular lighting coefficient thing and I increased to 1 the specular lighting uh, uh, intensity so it will be sharply so it can be easily seen alright and uh, and before we start let's give the uh, a new variable this will be the I call it vertex normals the vertex normals will be true if we do this smooth normal thing so vertex normal we can call it because every vertex has a different normal as you want to call it and uh, we need to create a new vector which will contain all of the vertexes all of the normals for each vertexes so this will be std vector and I call and uh, the type of it will be the same as the normal normals so this will be core the net uh, pointer and I call it vertex normal okay or I just change it to vertex normal that's it okay and I make a new function for it which will smooth the normal so wait smooth normal okay this function will just move the normals as simple as that 
ok and I think we don't have to do anything else for the uh, header file so now we can go to the implementation and start to initialize first the variable so vertex vertex normal equals to true ok and later we will check this to uh, call the function or not actually let's do it now before I actually draw so here before I draw I just um, check that if if it is on so the normal uh, thing and so then I call the function so is vertex normal then I call the smooth normal function that's it one change this is not just vertex normal this is is vertex normal it's good to check because later I will get an error about that and now before we actually made the smooth normals let me just delete whatever in here because I will forget if it if I don't do it now so in i equals zero i less than vertex normal that size i plus plus and i just delete the vertex normal uh, i okay and i clear it too so if we loaded multiple object then it will not cause a problem so vertex normal dot clear that's it now we can actually uh, start coding so I make it in here down here void obj loader smooth normal okay and uh, as I said earlier we have to go through all of the vertexes so I make a for loop to go through i equals zero i less than vertex dot size I think we call it vertex logically I plus plus okay and now I create a new vector this will actually not be a vector uh, this will be just three variables but you can imagine it as a vector so float uh, vector x vector y and vector z okay and I initialize both to zero because if we want to co uh, calculate average we need this temporary variable which will be basically the sum of all of the vectors and we need a sum which is a whole number this is the number of all of the vectors okay and now I go through all of the faces to find a face which contains the vertex we are just examining oh by the way one change in here because the vertex number starts from one and go to size plus one uh, then I go through one two size plus one so we go through all of the vertexes just not start from zero start from one because there is no zeros vector uh, vertex there is just one uh, first vertex that's right okay so I make another uh, for loop this will be j equals zero j less than faces the size j plus plus by the way this is probably not the most efficient algorithm you can see about this uh, subject but it does what it has to do and actually it has to just calculate once when the program is loading and later there will be no runtime overhead about this so if one of the faces is contain this vector we just examining so if face is j and we get the faces uh, uh, very array from that actually this is a little bit uh, badly named because it is actually should call vertexes or something because this are these are the vertexes which make up the face if we remember well so in here there is this faces uh, array which contain the indexes of all of the faces which make up uh, all of the vertexes which make up this face 
so if face is 0 equal to i I don't need that any index or something 